Here in this video, we're gonna walk you through the various ways you can work with your list of clients and leads in LMN CRM tool. It'll include things like searching for clients, filtering your list, performing actions against groups of clients. You don't have to do things one at a time and even a little bit about exporting. So let's take a look. Here you are in LMN and under the CRM menu, I'm gonna click the contacts. That's going to show you your list of all the clients and leads and any other people you've entered into the CRM software. So up at the top here, you've got your basic search. So you can search for name, address, job site name. You can even search in the middle of the word. So if I had something I wanted to search for Vaughn and that's halfway through, it's no problem. It'll pick that up as well. Just enter your search criteria, hit enter and the search will happen. To get rid of your search, just delete anything in the search bar and hit enter again go back to your full list. You can also search by type or filter by type. So if you want to filter your list by a certain type or by tag or by who it's assigned to, by when they were added or what their status is, you can use any or all of those filters that you want. If you get a list that you like, so you got the filters that are maybe, maybe I want to do all the active clients that are assigned to me. So I make sure that's active and I make sure that's assigned to me and then I can go save view. And what that'll do is make that my default view. So now that I've clicked save, if I leave that list and then I come back to that list, it comes back with those filters on. So if you have some filters you like, that's the way to make it stay that way. Of course, if you want it to go back, you can always change these filters back and you can save a new view at any time. Each user of LMN can have their own view. That way you can customize it to whatever you need to see. Now, if you want to filter your list alphabetically, you can use these as well. So if I just want to see the clients that start from M to O, for example, click that and we get out. Now let's look at some of the tools we can use against our list. So lots of times I might want to edit clients, but I don't necessarily want to do it one at a time. For instance, let's say I want to add a tag to all my maintenance clients, or rather than opening up each one and adding a tag, what we can do is go tick, 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 tick to all the maintenance clients that we have, then go assign tags. Pick the tag or tags that you want to assign. And we'll say it's either a prospect or a maintenance client. And then the update type. So there's two types of things we can do when we're adding a tag. We can add tags or we can replace tags. So replace will delete all existing tags and put the ones that you've selected on. Whereas add tags will just add these ones. If the lead already had these tags, don't worry, I won't add it twice. It'll just add it to any leads that didn't happen to have those tags at first. So we click OK. Now we're done, those leads have that tag now. I'm gonna set those back and I'll save my view back to normal. Now the types to do other things with leads. After selecting multiple leads, we can go to the update contacts. And here's where I could assign a salesperson to a group of selected leads. Or set the type, that's like client, lead, or subcontract, or whatever your type is, to a bunch of selected leads. I could pick a referral source for a bunch of leads. So if I wanted to pick all the clients that heard of me from our Google ad campaign, we could do that. Or I could archive all these selected leads, or I could even merge them. Now merge them is gonna happen when you have two leads of the same type that maybe they got entered twice. So let's say, here's a good example here. Blasdale School is entered twice in here. And let's say this is an accident. Somebody entered it again because they didn't realize it was in there already. So what we can do is tick those two off, hit update contacts and say merge. So what that's going to do is merge that information together. But first it's going to ask you which one do you want it to use as the master. So it'll keep all the master's information and then just bring extra information in from the second one. So maybe there was some communication history or a couple of extra contact people. We'll keep the master record as is. We'll just bring in any extra from the secondary record. So I'll pick maybe this one as the master. Now, once you bring it in, just note that all the secondary leads are going to be deleted. So anything you're merging into, that, that thing you're merging is now going to disappear. It'll all just be in the one record. Make sure you're okay with that. You hit okay. And great. Now I only have one Blasdell school. Now it will have all the properties of the other things. So the to-dos will come over and the communication will be merged and the contacts will be merged and the estimates will be merged. But it's now just one record. So it helps you clean it up a little bit. Now, looking back at our contacts list, what else can we do with this list? Well, we can click any lead to open it. Over here, we can also edit or archive a lead right over here. Your pages are over here. So sometimes the lead will be more than can fit on one page. 
So you can just move to the next page up here or at the bottom down here. Now you may also want to export a group of leads to a spreadsheet so that you can work with it. Let's say, for example, I wanted to export all my maintenance clients because we're going to then take that list and upload it into an email marketing program. So I'm going to go export. Now, first, you can pick what types of contacts to include. Let's say I only want to include my leads. Now, should I include all people or just the primary people at each lead? So you can pick that. Should you include contacts without email addresses? Well, if I'm going to do this for email marketing, I'd click no. But if you want to do it for another reason, you might leave it on yes. Should you include archive contacts? And do you want to filter by any tags? So for instance, I could decide to only use some of the tags, like only my AAA tag. In this case, I'll leave it on everybody. Go down here to export. It'll open that up in an Excel file and you can do whatever you need to do with that Excel file after. So you could use this to import that information into another program, like an email marketing program, so that you could advertise to all those leads. You could also use the export file for anything else. Excel files are really handy for importing and exporting into all kinds of different applications or for doing your own data crunching. You can also import leads. You can import leads using an Excel file from another application. The best thing to do when you're importing leads is download this sample file. The sample file is going to give you a list of all the columns we require in an Excel file that's blank. Now all you need to do is take your list and copy and paste your columns into our columns so that you can import this seamlessly. Once you get your list imported and saved, you simply go choose file, pick your list that you want to import, hit OK, and those leads will all come into your CRM system. That's it for the CRM list screen and its functions. If you have any questions on how to do something faster, be sure to reach out to us at any of those options there on the screen, live chat, or our help pages, or hit us up at advice at goelemn.com. We'll get back to you with the best advice we can possibly provide.